Flashing the custom ROM has been one of my favorite methods of customizing my Android device. I do it on every phone that I own except for when it's a Samsung device because you cannot go back to how it was when it came from the factory. This is only the case with Samsung devices for any other phone like Xiaomi or Redmi. Even the company itself I think encourages people who try to flash a ROM. So it's a fairly easy process and it completely changes how you use a phone. So this is my Redmi Note 10 Pro and in this video I'll show you how I do it. Now one thing that I want to assure you is that you can easily factory reset your phone and you will your phone will completely work fine and the only thing that you have to keep in mind is you'll use uh, you'll lose the current data that you have on your phone maybe your photos or whatsapp data so make sure you back up all of that and except for that it's a fairly easy process and i assure you if you follow the right steps and use the right files nothing will go wrong so before doing it i'll tell you what are the steps for installing a custom ROM. So the first step is unlocking the bootloader, second is uh, flashing a custom recovery, third is flashing the ROM itself. So these are the files that you will require if you're trying to flash a custom ROM. So this is the Mi Flash Unlock software. This is provided by some developer. I'll give a link to this and this is what we will use for flashing, unlocking the bootloader. After that, this is the recovery. I'm using a custom recovery TWRP. You can use any recovery of your choice. It can be either Orange Fox recovery or anything. I'm using TWRP over here. This will be used for flashing the ROM itself. Now, after that, this is Arrow OS. This is the ROM of my choice that I'm using in this video. But again, you can use any ROM that you want. It can be Pixel Experience or anything. But over here, I'm using Arrow OS. I'll even link, leave a link to this in the description. Now, now, if anything goes wrong while doing any of the steps, this is the files that you will need. This is the Mi Flash file. This will be used for flashing the stock software that came from the company. And these are the factory images. I mean, the stock, stock ROM that came in your phone when you bought it. So these are the files that you will require. I'll tell you how to use this later on in a video. So we will start off by trying to unlock the bootloader. So what we have to do is first unlock the OEM unlocking option. So we have to go to settings and then we have to go to about phone and then tap on the MIUI version a few times. You will be prompted that you have unlocked the bootloader. I have already done it. So that's why it's not showing up in mine. Now what you have to go to uh, do is go to additional settings. Now developer options and over here you have to do two things. You have to unlock a uh, switch on the OEM unlocking option and then you have to go to MI unlock status and then sign in with your MI account. Now this is a necessary step. You have to sign in with your MI account. You cannot skip it. So make sure you sign in with your MI account and then agree to the permit, uh, agree to the things that it says. After that, what you have to do is Turn off your phone and you have to go to fast boot mode. For that, we have, we'll have to press down the volume down button and then the power button together on the same time, it's just like I'm doing. So yeah, as you can see, we're in the fast boot mode. Now what you have to do is just connect your phone to the PC itself. Now over here what you have to do is after connecting your device to the PC you have to open this Mi Flash unlock file that I told you to download and run it. Over here what you have to do is sign in with the MI account that you used on your phone and the catch over here is that you will have to wait for 7 days if you are doing this for the first time. I have seen a few people telling that you can skip this process using a modded software but I haven't been able to do that so you will have to wait for 7 days. That's it. So just sign in with your account and log in with the password. Now what you will see is your the software will check for if your account has permissions. 
and uh, after connecting your phone the unlock button will be enabled and when you try to do it for the first time if you press unlock it will ask you to wait for 7 days wait for those 7 days and after that you can repeat the same process and your phone will be unlocked so as you can see I have already done it I waited for 7 days and after that my phone has been unlocked so now what you have to do is we have to we have first uh, we have done the first step of unlocking the bootloader now you have to do is install the custom recovery now for that what you have to do is go to uh, fast boot mode again and then connect your phone to the pc again so after you have unlocked your bootloader what you have to do is install a custom recovery of your choice i'm using twrp over here so what you have to do is just press down the shift button and then the right click button you can either use command prompt over here i'm using powershell so as i told you the first step was unlocking the bootloader and now we are trying to install a custom recovery now for that we have to type in now you have to copy the name of the file and type in fastboot flash and uh, fastboot flash recovery and uh, just paste the name of the file and then put in the extension and press enter now as you can see the process is started and it's done now what you have to do is take your phone again and press down now we're trying to enter the recovery mode so press the volume up button and the power button together As you can see, there's an unlocked picture on the top. Now we are into the recovery. And over here, now what we have to do is firstly format the data and wipe everything out. So what we'll do is go into wipe and then we'll go to format data and we'll type in yes. Just follow the steps that I'm doing. It will be done and after that we can start we can now start flashing our ROM. Now for that we'll have to firstly transfer the ROM that we have to install in places where the phone can actually access it. Just connect your device to the phone and it will be showing up something like this MK21 I don't know something like this and copy the ROM that you want to install and paste it in the device you can either use the micro SD card that you have or even you can put it in a pen drive and then hook it up using the OTG I'm using my memory card over here so I'll post it I'll paste it in the downloads folder I already have the top uh, already have it pasted over there but I'll just try it anyway so like as you can see I already have it so just paste it over here and now what we have to do is now start and uh, start installing the ROM. For that, you have to type go into install, select storage, and select where you have stored your ROM. As you can see, I stored it in my memory card, so I'll go into memory card and then downloads. And this is the ROM, and I can just swipe to start flashing. As you can see it has started now it will take a few minutes as you can see it's done and what now over here what you have to do is wipe cache and dalvik and then just reboot your phone and that's about it we're done installing the rom you can now set it up as you want it'll take around two to three minutes to boot up As you can see, it's taking a few minutes to boot up and after it's done, you can just set it up as your new phone. As you can see, now you can just set it up as you do in every new phone that you own. And we're done doing this. So those are the steps for installing a custom ROM.
in this case i was using the arrow OS, so this is how it looks like now what i will show you is that if you mess up some other steps and something happens maybe a force phone goes into a boot loop or i don't know anything happens you just don't like the rom and you want to go back to how it was when it came back from the factory this is what you have to do what you have to do is download all the files that i told you and then we have to go to fast boot menu again for that we'll have to press down the first power it off and then press the volume down button and the power button together as you can see we're in the fast boot menu now just connect your phone to the pc now as you can see these are the files that i told you to download for resetting this so these are the files when you download the files it will be in this format tgz version and then you have to first extra extract this after you extract the first file you will get this second for file this is again a compressed version this is .tar and you have to extract this again to get this folder now this is the folder that we are need for flashing the ROM now what you have to do is just run the me flash app that I told you to download not the me flash unlock file the me flash file that I told you to download okay this is the software run it now before this what you have to do is copy the extracted folder that I told you the folder and paste it in your downloads folder I don't know why this step is necessary but if you keep it over there it just doesn't work I don't know why so just paste it in your downloads folder and then select it from the downloads so this was the folder and now connect your phone to the PC and then press refresh so as you can see this is the device ID so this will only show up when you connect your device and now start flashing so as you can see it has already started it this takes around 300 seconds to so as you can see the process has completed and my phone has debooted itself you don't have to do anything it will just reboot and this will take around three four minutes to boot up and yeah so as you can see the process has just completed and my phone is back my phone has started rebooting itself so that was all that you have to do now your phone is the now phone is back to the same condition that it was when it came from the factory or the shop so that was about it if this video was helpful leave a like and do subscribe